Hi folks, it's Chris from Focusrite here and I'm at Gear for Music in York. We're going to take a good look at the brand new Scarlett Solo USB audio interface. The Scarlett series of interfaces from Focusrite has been established now as a very popular uh, audio interface range, allowing you to get high quality sound into and out of your computer. The Scarlett Solo offers a wonderfully portable little interface at a really cost effective price. This gives you a really nice entry point into that Focusrite sound. So, without any further ado, let's open the box and see what we have with the Scarlett Solo. Inside the box, a little bit of packaging there, and underneath we've got the interface. Now, the Scarlett Solo is designed to be really portable. It's not big, it's not heavy, but it is very well built. So, it's designed really to be sort of taken around with you, put into your laptop bag, that sort of thing. In terms of what we give you in, uh, in connections, on the front panel here you'll see we have a 3-pin or XLR microphone input and alongside that we have a jack input. Now with a jack input this can be switched to either receive a signal from an electric or a bass guitar and we just use a little switch here to move to instrument. If we have a line level signal, for example from a synthesizer or something along those lines, we can just switch over to line and this will receive the signal in the right way. Now, if we switch to the instrument point, this will turn it into a high impedance input. And a high impedance input basically lets you get the best possible signal out of an electric guitar without having to amplify it. If we think about the uh, microphone input here as well, uh, this is a Focusrite microphone preamp. Focusrite builds exceptionally high quality microphone preamps. And even though the Scarlett Solo gives you a single mic pre, it is still of the same quality that you will find across the Scarlett and the Sapphire range of audio interfaces. Here we have our input volume control or gain control, and we have a clever system. Around the actual gain knob here, we have um, an LED ring. Now this is an indicator to show you how you're doing with your levels while you're recording. Uh, for example, if you have a green level, you know that the signal is good, it's not going to be distorted in any way. However, if the LED ring turns red, then you know that the signal will be distorting. We call this the halo system, and it's a really useful way of just keeping track of your audio levels. On the far side here, we have a nice big volume control, which controls the output volume on the back of the uh, audio interface. And we also have a headphone output. Above the headphone output, you'll see we have a direct monitor switch. This is really useful if you're um, experiencing latency whilst you're recording. With latency, I mean essentially when you're playing the guitar, that signal has to be passed through the interface into your computer, processed by the computer, and sent back to the interface. Sometimes on lower spec systems, you might find that you will have a slight delay between playing the guitar and hearing it back through the box as it goes on its round trip. With the direct monitor switch here, we can instantly just switch it to listen to the input signal coming into the interface. This means there'll be absolutely no latency and you can play the guitar without suffering that slight delay in hearing the sound. On the back of the Scarlett Solo, we just give you a simple pair of outputs here. These are RCA connections and can be connected to any type of speakers. We have a USB connection here, obviously, to connect directly to your computer, and also the security lock or Kensington lock um, on the back as well. The Scarlett Solo is designed to give you that focus right sound. It's capable of recording up to 96 kilohertz, which means you can get a high quality, pristine sound directly into your DAW software. So if you're needing a portable USB audio interface, or you're looking at uh, getting your first interface and just really want to record yourself perhaps playing guitar or singing directly into the microphone, the Scarlett Solo is perfect for that. In the box with the Scarlett Solo, obviously you'll get the interface and the USB connection to plug that directly into your computer. But you'll also get a nice software bundle, which gives you a copy of Ableton Live Lite DAW software, a copy of the Scarlett plugin suite, and also a copy of the Novation Base Station plugin. So once you've bought the Scarlett Solo, you have everything you need except the computer to start making music. 